Hi and welcome to Zabbix series. In today's video, we will take a look at Zabbix just-in-time user provisioning introduced in Zabbix 6.4. For this video, I have configured an open LDAP server and created a couple of users across different user groups. Let's start by looking at two user groups, managers and service desk. Ideally, we want for these users to be able to log into Zabbix with their LDAP accounts and be automatically assigned to the corresponding Zabbix user group with a proper user role. Now let's switch to Zabbix. Let's open Users Authentication section. First, let's open the LDAP Settings tab. Make sure that you have selected the Enable LDAP Authentication and enable JIT provisioning options. Then we can proceed to adding the LDAP server. I have already added mine, so let's take a look at how it's configured. Naturally, we need to provide a name for this newly added LDAP server, its address and port. Next, we need to configure a base distinguished name, the entry in the directory from which searches initiated by LDAP clients will occur. Since I'm using the organization example.com, I will provide the main components example and com. We also need to provide LDAP account attribute used for search, UID for open LDAP or SAM account name for Microsoft AD. We also need to provide the distinguished name and password of the bind user. Double check your bind user permissions. If your bind user doesn't have the read permissions on LDAP users used to log in into Zabbix, you might see login errors. This can be checked by using the test button and testing the connectivity with an LDAP user. Now we need to enable JIT user provisioning for this server. Let's provide the group name attribute, common name of the group and user group membership attribute, member of. This means that if a user is a member of a group with a particular name, we will apply the user group mapping on it. In addition, you can provide user first and last name attributes to be mapped to the provisioned Zabbix accounts, but to keep things simple, we will skip it for this example. I've added two user group mappings. Let's take a look at them. The mappings are quite simple. If a user is in the manager's LDAP group, it will be assigned to the manager's Zabbix user group and have the admin user role. If, on the other hand, the user is in the service desk LDAP group, it will be assigned to the service desk Zabbix user group and have the NOC team user role. Finally, I have also provided the media type mapping. The mail attribute of the LDAP user will be assigned as the email address of the provisioned user meaning they will be able to receive Zabbix notifications in their mailbox. We can also enable advanced configuration and enable start TLS or add a search filter to perform more complex search of LDAP users. For example, to carry out case sensitive LDAP search within case insensitive LDAP environment. Once you have added the LDAP server together with user group and media mappings, let's switch back to the authentication tab and set the default authentication method to LDAP and also provide a group where deprovisioned users will be placed in. Save your settings and let's see JIT user provisioning in action. I will try to log in as one of the users from the managers group by using the LDAP username and password. As soon as the login is performed, we can see that the user is created and assigned a proper user group and role. Now, if I log in with a user from the service desk group, I can see that another user has been created, assigned the NOC team role, and placed in the service desk user group as per our mappings. Let's see what happens if I decommission one of the users. I have now removed the user from the service desk group in LDAP and moved it to another group for decommissioned users.
If I try to log in as this user, I get an error message. If I check the user list, I can now see that the user is disabled and placed in the disabled user group. Note that provisioned user accounts are updated in Zabbix either upon the user login or based on the provisioning period configured in the LDAP settings tab of the authentication section. And that's it for JIT user provisioning. We hope that you can take this example and use it as a guide in implementing just-in-time user provisioning in your own environment. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.